I said it online the day after baby Bosnick was born, but I kind of picture Anna and Eli leaving the hospital like that scene at the end of Children of Men, right, where the war stops so they can get the baby out. I mean, I know that the chaotic images and shit were mostly just Republican propaganda, and I'm super happy for them, but holy fuck, what a world to bring a baby into. You know, there's there's this part of you that can't help but look around at the social unrest and the bigotry and the pandemic and the racist in chief and think, is this the best we could do for baby Bosnick? Is this the best world we have to offer him? Or even worse, are we counting on him to fix it? And paradoxically, that's a really good sign that he's coming into the world at a great moment. I mean, I, I have this, you know, what a world to be born into attitude because that's the way I'm conditioned to look at it. Sure, things are full-blown shit right now, but ultimately it's not like there's some other historic era where a kid's better off being born, right? I mean, there are problems of plenty in the world, but like for the dentistry alone, you'd pick this era if you had a menu, right? I, I don't know about you, but I'd much rather have been born into a world where VR porn was already being perfected when I was a baby. Look, I, I'm not trying to let the present off the hook by pointing out how much worse the past was. The present still needs to get its shit together. But the very concept of societal progress is, if you think about it, pretty new. You know, back in medieval days, there was no sense that one generation was supposed to have it better than the last one. Life for the son was the same as life for the father was the same as life for the grandfather. And let's not even fucking talk about life for the daughter. Humanity's best times were in the past and all the future generations had to look forward to was the apocalypse and its accompanying bridal high blood tsunami. It took secular society to even comprehend the idea of social progress. Right. I mean, and that's not just some historical coincidence that secularism just happened to have going for it. Humanism is literally a prerequisite. As long as you're stuck in a theological worldview, especially a monotheistic one, the world is exactly as God wants it to be. Our misery and suffering are exactly how much God thinks we deserve. To attempt to thwart that would be sacrilegious. You know, and that's not just theoretical. We have centuries of history to back this up. Society started getting better precisely around the time we realized that nobody was going to help. You have to set God aside to get there. Before that, there was never any notion that one generation would leave the next generation a better world. Now we see it as dereliction of duty if we don't at least try. Of course, the desire to create a better world doesn't always make a better world, right? I mean, there are competing ideas of what a better world looks like. If you're a progressive liberal... It looks a hell of a lot different than if you're a fucking racist Oompa Loompa. But even the bad guys are generally motivated by misguided and even diabolical efforts to improve the world. Right. And sure, religious leaders and groups have reluctantly climbed onto this historical bandwagon. And now they say they want to make a better world, too. But when you dig into what they mean by that, it's usually a desire to retreat back into the past rather than the move forward into the future. You know, the fact that we want to leave our children a better world is ultimately proof that we have. Or at least that, you know, somebody has a long way. And sure, not everything moves forward in lockstep, and it certainly doesn't move at the same speed for all the people. But better just means not as bad as this. And <laughs> that's a pretty low bar to clear, even if this is the best we've ever managed as a species. Right? Like, it looks bad. A lot of it is bad, but, but a lot of it also isn't, right? I, I, I called it social unrest earlier, and as negative as the connotations around that term are, it's not a negative term, right? A society resting when shit was this bad would be the reprehensible thing. Social unrest is, when successful, synonymous with social reform. The protests going on right now are terrifying if you're an old white evangelical Republican, but they're liberating if you're virtually anything else. And as baby Bosnick's mother would be happy to explain, I'm sure, giving birth to something new is painful, even if the thing you're giving birth to is beautiful. 